Will Arena Breakout kill Lost Light? The answer is yes, but also no. Let's talk about it today. Let's first introduce both games in the best way possible. Lost Light was introduced to the mobile gaming community last January 2021, where NetEase has officially begun its closed beta testing for Australia and New Zealand. It was a promising upstart game that introduced a trending genre in the gaming scene entirely. Although not directly mentioned, the third-person shooter was heavily inspired from a popular PC title called Escape from Tarkov. And this genre is what we call a survival shooter, or much more coined as looter shooters. The premise was basic, you fight to survive. You go on operations, get essential items such as food, weapons, and protective gear, while also gathering resources to improve the quality and service of your base, or as the game calls it, the shelter. Coming from a mobile gaming juggernaut like NetEase, the introduction of Lost Light was impactful to say the least, as this was a unique take on the common mobile shooter. It was a fresh and engaging experience for mobile players and gamers in general alike. The only comparable game to what Lost Light resembles is PUBG Mobile's Metro Royale, which was also a popular game mode that to this day, players are seeking to play once more. To take on that hunger or desire for such gameplay, the opportunity was capitalized upon by NetEase in developing the third-person mobile shooter that is known as Lost Light. The game had its humble beginnings and now fast forward to two years today as of this recording, Lost Light has found its shine, gaining an ever-growing following with consistent updates and even introduced a cross-platform feature to enable cross-play from both PC and mobile devices. But don't get me wrong, I am aware of the ongoing issues that the game has currently. The outcries from the community have been a constant thing that I see every day. From how much the game is not optimized, the ongoing rampage of hackers, and how there is too much focus on in-game skins rather than newer features to name a few of many issues that are always mentioned by veteran and newer players alike. So we can establish that this game has issues. But so does this game, or this game, or even this game. No game is perfect, but every good game has its own share of flaws and criticism and is still good. Why? Because it shows a path to where it can grow. Just this past few months, Lost Light has recently introduced input-based matchmaking, meaning you can now match up with only mobile to mobile or PC to PC which already answers the concern about the unfairness of crossplay and if any avid Lost Light follower knows, this has been a request that was made many months ago and now it's finally been given. Yes, there may be an assumption that the devs do not care but that is wrong. They do care. They do listen. They do see everything that their community is asking for but there's just a time for everything. Lost Light is a good game. Give it a chance or a second one if you've already given up on it. With that out of the way, now we finally go to the hardcore mobile FPS that everybody's talking about. Arena Breakout was developed by Morphan Studios and published by Tencent Games, another prominent figure or company in the mobile gaming scene. As of this recording, the more accurate representation of EFT on mobile is now currently undergoing its second closed beta test phase. I say accurate representation as Arena Breakout is almost like Escape from Tarkov that was directly ported to a mobile device. From the UI, the textures, the gameplay, and overall look and feel, every bit of this game shouts EFT on mobile. Unlike Lost Light, Arena Breakout has its own vast differences. Firstly, it'll give you the first-person POV, which was an outcry feature to be added in Lost Light, but they've added recently. This is one major draw that hooks other players to play this game, as the first-person perspective adds more depth and roleplay feeling to what is happening in every raid that you participate in, giving you almost unreal to life experience. But hence the term hardcore FPS. This means exactly what it means. Although mobile games are well known to cater to a more casual audience, this game does touch upon it but in a very minimal way. The only thing that holds your hand in this game is the beginner's tutorial, which is pretty standard in any game. Apart from this, you're on your own. You're on your own to learn about the game. How to manage your storage, how different gear works to help you survive more easier, how nourishment and hydration are a factor in your survival. This may be, just for now, the most punishing game any mobile player will ever get to play. You can already see a major difference and similarities of both games as both games are in the looter shooter genre but with contrasting game styles that caters to their player base. Whereas Lost Light is a more casual approach to the common survival shooter 
which makes it more appealing to casual players and beginners alike. While Arena Breakout is where veteran shooters of this genre should play and embrace an all new challenge where the learning curve is very very steep whether they be veterans or new per players alike. More in comparison, Lost Light is already an almost established title having been developed and alive for almost 3 years now. While Arena Breakout is somewhat already looking good from having to play it on its CBT versions. But it has a long way to go before you can completely enjoy that almost real to life experience. So let's go back to the question, will Arena Breakout kill Lost Light? I don't think so. It may take some of its player base away, but more people will still come in and play Lost Light. Some might even come back after experiencing how difficult Arena Breakout is compared to Lost Light. It's all speculation up to this point, but I leave it to you, what do you guys think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. For me, I'll still be playing Lost Light as it's currently my main game and eventually welcome in Arena Breakout in the shuffle once it's officially launched globally. For everyone else watching, I want you to be happy. Why though? Because things are looking good for the gaming scene as newer games are now being introduced in every platform. It's not really about which game is better, it's more about what you want to play and what you enjoy playing. Don't ever let any content creator or fellow player change your mind with just words. Experience the game for yourself and decide where you want to be. With that being said, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time for listening throughout this video. If you want to support me, you can follow me on my socials in the description down below. My live streams or schedule are also displayed there and I'll be uploading more of these kinds of videos in the future. Thanks again so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next one.